Welcome back everyone, Sweet Battle Scars here, and I'm back with another unboxing video. Now today we have the pleasure of looking at the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Collector's Edition for the Nintendo 3DS. Just released today, February 13, 2015. Now like many of you out there, I have been waiting for this game for a very long time and it's finally here. So we're going to take a look at this awesome collector's edition and I am extremely happy to have uh, one of these copies because I th it's been a very long time since we've gotten anything you know this special here in the States. Of course Japan always gets awesome limited edition versions of uh, every Monster, Monster Hunter game they get and uh, we've really... We've never really gotten any sort of collector's edition here in the West except for the bundle that we got for Monster Hunter Try on the Wii that came with uh, you know, a controller and, and the game, a classic controller that is. So we're going to look at this awesome collector's edition since we have it and again I'm, I'm very happy that Capcom decided to do something like this. I hope that they continue to do this and uh, you know, give us uh, awesome collector's editions like this one. Uh, and I think. Uh, you know, I'm very pleased to see that uh, Monster Hunter has gotten a lot of attention recently and it's picking up momentum and I think that's par part of the reason why Capcom is, is now supporting Monster Hunter here on the West as well and I think Nintendo has got a lot to do with that and so I'm happy that the, you know, the two of them are, are really pushing this game here in, in the West so uh, because of that we've gotten this awesome collector's edition and here it here are the items in the back uh, as they are pictured, this is what uh, is included in this box. Um, I won't really go over them, I'll, I'll just show you. So it's a very nice uh, little box, it's like your items box when you begin a quest and uh, you guys can see there as I remove the sleeve that is like one of those, you know, like your item box. Very very nice, uh, nicely detailed. It is just a regular cardboard. Uh, I think one of you asked me what this would be made of and uh, I imagined it was cardboard and yes, fair enough. Indeed, it is cardboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, that's very nice actually. There's a magnet here that is just, you know, keeps the uh, lid uh, nice and tight in its place. So if you just uh, pull that back, you guys can see that uh, we've got the game, first of all with a ni nice little sleeve here that you can pull up and uh, the game actually doesn't come wrapped in any plastic so once you open this uh, baby up you'll get a uh, you know, full view of the game uh, no plastic uh, wrap around the game so there's uh, the game, the most important part and we're gonna continue with the items below. Here is the uh, the base for the figure that uh, that this uh, collector's edition comes with and of course it's the Gormagala figure and uh, those of you who have uh, been following my videos know that I collect the figure builder uh, series from Japan, the Monster Hunter figure builder uh, volumes and yes we'll be very familiar with this base, this is your standard uh, figure builder base so I just took it out of the uh, plastic and here is the figure Gormagala and uh, it's very much like your typical um, figure builder box of course it doesn't have the figure builder word on it or the logo it's just uh, this is a custom box made especially for this edition we have the Monster Hunter 4 logo there and a picture of Gormagala in the front and uh, as you guys know I like uh, to open my boxes from the bottom so you know that the box is you know, preserved somewhat don't have to uh, tear it completely so in case I ever display the box which I don't think I will for this one so we're gonna take a look at the figure first and foremost and uh, here is the figure it's a very nice figure um, Initially when this was uh, announced, I made a video talking about this collector's edition and I pointed to the fact that this was uh, a figure very that very closely resembled a figure that was part of the uh, figure builder series in Japan and of course it is. So we get this extra base. As you guys know, uh, the recent uh, Monster Hunter uh, figure builder volumes um, are now 
you know, coming with these modular bases. So this will, in fact, uh, connect to those bases. So I don't know if they plan uh, to release any other figures here in the West. Uh, you know, they included this uh, base, so I, I can only assume that they might, because this is a modular base, you can connect it to other bases. So I, I can only hope that they will. Um, otherwise, you can always use your Japanese bases and, uh, you know, whatnot. So um, there it is, and then of course you have your standard figure builder base. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the figure together. So just like uh, your figure builder figures, you have nice mechanical joints. Like so. And uh, this is a very clear plastic. It, it's showing the uh, Gore Magala and it's... Uh, I guess rage mode. I call it. Uh, I don't know. I don't exactly remember what it's. What is the official name of this state? Uh, you know, he's when he gets angrier and uh, gets more aggressive and uh, faster and you know whatnot. So this is uh, his enraged stage, or it might be just uh, you know a different kind of stage. But anyway, in the game he uh, gets his horns and uh, he starts you know kind of blowing a bit and uh, the virus is going everywhere and you know they decided to give him this transparent or translucent clear plastic here and uh, it's actually quite kind of nice and I have the other figure to compare it to I'm gonna put it on its base it should be uh, I think that's I think that should be it I might be doing it wrong and I actually have the other um, figure for a comparison. You know, I'll, I'll actually try to do it uh, a little better. Yeah, no, actually, that's got to be the way it's done. I don't think uh, there's any other way of doing this. So here is your standard base. Of course, you can use the same pegs and put Gore Magala onto this base. And uh, I have the very first Gore Magala figure we ever got from one of the uh, figure builder volumes. As you guys can see it is not the same figure. It's uh, This is Gore Magala in its uh, regular stage. He's not enraged, no horns on his head. And uh, it's a very nice figure nonetheless. So here is the one we get in this collector's edition. And I've actually got the other figure right here. This is the... Uh, the exact same uh, figure that we got in the collector's edition. This is from a previous volume in the Monster Hunter uh, figure builder series in Japan. And you guys can see it's exactly the same figure, the same exact uh, cast. Uh, the only difference is, is the uh, material and the way they painted it. Of course, they used this clear plastic for the Gormagala here in the collector's edition that was released in the West. And uh, this one is a full fully painted figure. This is what he looks like in the game. It's just, uh, I guess we got a limited edition or collector's edition clear plastic one. And Capcom does that a lot, actually. Uh, they'll sometimes release like volumes that come with like an extra figure that's a, that is rendered in either like clear plastic or like in, in you know, different colors, like a red uh, Sinogre or, or, you know, or a clear Goro Magala in this case. So they'll do that from time to time, but this is a, a you know more accurate de depiction of what Gormagala looks like in his uh, uh, you know raged uh, staged in his uh, uh, enraged mode. Uh, his uh, his obviously his scales his skin doesn't change color. He's just uh, his wings just extend and he's got those horns uh, popping out. But uh, that's that's it for the most part. His color doesn't change. So the uh, choice of a clear plastic is just you know to give us a limited edition uh, you know of this figure. So exact same figure, different uh, material or different paint approach, different paint job. And here is an example of the modular pieces that I was talking about. This is from uh, the uh, recent uh, Rage, Rage ver version of uh, Figure Builder. Again, one of the more recent uh, Figure Builder volumes in Japan. And this is the base that we got with the Collector's Edition Gormagala. And as I, I, as I was saying before, it is modular, so they do connect to one another. So that's why since they give us this base, I can only assume that hopefully we get more figures here in the West uh, to connect this to it. 
But uh, so yeah, these uh, bases are coming out in the newer uh, versions of uh, Figure Builder uh, volumes, like the Rage version. So I'll put those aside. And uh, those are the figures. And uh, we're gonna look through the last few items in the box. And I'll take them all out of the box. Uh, that's it, as you guys can see. Last but not least, we have a little uh, feline pin. And uh, they have, uh, I forget exactly how many. These are available uh, uh, you know, on the official Capcom store online. Oh, here we go. We have uh, these available. So we have uh, four, eight, hmm, we have uh, nine more. So 10 in total. So there you guys have them. Uh, some some of them look very nice actually. So they gave us the uh, little Gor. I think this is the Gormagala suit for the little feline. That's what it looks like, and it it's actually very nice. Uh, I'm not gonna take it out of its plastic wrap. Paint job on it is very nice. It's got a glossy finish on it, and it's a uh, it's a nice collectible. So very glad to have that. I I might actually go and uh, pick uh, the other ones up from the Capcom store from the e Capcom I think it's called we also have uh, we'll, we'll put this aside um, we have this little um, linear sorry I couldn't uh, get it uh. okay I wanted to show you the little icons here so these are the icons uh, the monster icons that we see in the game or when we go on quests, this is what will actually be depicted on the uh, on the actual quest. And uh, I, I, I like them a lot. They look very uh, kind of, uh, you know, like ancient drawings, kind of like ancient paintings of uh, creatures. Very, uh, very nice. So uh, that's always been, uh, you know, the case in Monster Hunter, always depicting these monsters uh, in this, in this uh, style. So very nice linear. We got a little clip here and there's the lanyard and then last but definitely not least the uh, the cloth for uh, cleaning your 3ds screen that's also depicting the uh, map in the Monster Hunter 4 ultimate world of course I will not be using this for uh, for cleaning purposes so here we go it's a little cleaning cloth and it's only one sided uh, one you know the back is white and then in the front we get the map for uh, Monster Hunter 4, oh sorry that's upside down, for the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate World as it's depicted here. And there you guys have it. Very, very nice. Very nice uh, little cloth. So I'm going to uh, put that back in the, uh, in the uh, plastic wrap and uh, you know store it like so. I will not be using it for cleaning. So there you guys have it. Uh, the This is the collector's edition for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Extremely happy to have this. Uh, you know, kudos to Capcom for doing this for us here in the West. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, uh, I'm very happy to see things like this for Monster Hunter. Again, we rarely see this in the West. So the fact that they are uh, now doing this for us is a very good sign for Monster Hunter fans. Uh, it's a sign that the times are changing. Monster Hunter is becoming a franchise in the West. It's getting, as a franchise, it's getting a lot of attention. So that's very good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you have. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Were you guys able to pick up this uh, awesome collector's edition as well? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I will now end this video and go and start playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Thanks again, and see you guys next time.